welcome everyone to Raise a Hand 2021. I'm Tommy Brewer. And I'm Joanna Lizarraga. Tommy and I both serve on the leadership team at Think Together, and we're so excited to be with you all tonight. This event is a chance to celebrate students in the midst of a year when the odds have been more stacked against them than ever before. A chance for us to be their community of support, their champions. If you're new to Think Together, you probably gathered we work with students to make sure they get a great education. Please allow us to take just a moment to go a little deeper. Let's start with why. Our why is equity. When our leaders started this organization almost 25 years ago, it was because a significant number of students in this state didn't have the support their peers had to succeed in school. Education is the great equalizer. With it, kids are empowered with options, and then they have the choice of how to use them. And Tommy, we share that why with a lot of passionate educators and community members. How we move toward that reality is incredibly strategic. From the beginning, we've partnered directly with school districts to find out what their students need to succeed. And once we figured that out, we deliver creative solutions designed to address those needs. These include after school and summer programs, tutoring services, healthy living and sports programs, and leadership development for teachers and school administrators. Think about a student who's falling behind and needs extra help. In some situations, neither that student nor their family have the financial resources or access to get the support needed. Our programs provide that help in schools throughout California, where we are working together to change the odds for over 200,000 students. This mission does not happen without public-private partnership. What I mean is that this doesn't happen without you. We receive a large amount of our funding from state grants. The rest is from individuals, corporations, and foundations who have vision for what education can and should be for every child. We need our communities to invest with us in student success. And that's what brings us together tonight. If you've been to a Raise a Hand event in the past, welcome back. Thank you for embracing this new virtual format. And for those of you joining us for the first time, we're so glad to be in your living rooms and backyards or wherever you're enjoying tonight's broadcast. You'll hear from a lot of people tonight who really care about our students, just like you do. At the top of that list is our founder and CEO, Randy Barth, who wanted to be the first to say hello this evening. Hi, everyone. Thanks, Tommy and Joanna, for that great kickoff to Raise a Hand 2021. I'm joining you tonight from Palm Springs, where we recently have been able to expand our reach to serve more kids. You'll hear more about our expansion out here in the Coachella Valley later in tonight's program. Tonight's event is happening in many different ways and many different places. We've connected with a number of friends who are watching from their homes here in the desert. How cool that we're all in this together, no matter where we are. While many other organizations struggled this past year, thanks to your support and the long-term partnerships we have with our school district and our charter school friends, we've been able to meet the moment in innovative ways. We've all seen dark days this past year, but I've been so inspired by our staff Pull to, watching our staff pull together to serve our students and their families. I'm looking forward to hearing stories and reflections from our students and some of our best supporters. Thank you to our board of directors for your leadership over tonight's event and to each of our sponsors for your great generosity. I wanna give a special shout out to our lead sponsors, Dan and Leslie Young. Dan has been a significant voice on our board of directors for many years and has offered great wisdom in our efforts and behalf, on behalf of students. So enjoy this evening together, and I'll be back toward the end of the broadcast. Thank you, Randy. We now have two of our board members up in the Bay Area who would also like to welcome you to raise a hand. Gretchen Sawyer and Sang Perui, welcome to the broadcast. What a great silver lining that tonight's event is virtual, so we can join all of you watching from across the state and beyond. Tommy actually just told me we have someone joining us all the way from Georgia. And by my bedtime standards, you are up late for this, so thank you. We hope everyone is settled in for an exciting night dedicated to a great cause. Gretchen and I are proud to serve on the Think Together Board of Directors. We have really rallied behind this event in its new virtual format and have raised the stakes of philanthropic support, despite the challenges of the pandemic. Can we get the event website on the screen? I wanna draw your attention to the donation page. There's a variety of levels you can give at whatever is meaningful to you. Fix Think Together works with students beginning in the early learning and stretching all the way through high school 
your contributions touch kids at every step of their educational journey. From making sure they have digital access, absolutely essential in today's learning environment, to helping them develop healthy lifestyles. We know that strong bodies support strong minds to investing in tomorrow's STEM leaders and innovators. From where I sit here in Silicon Valley, I know how much we need to educate students in the industries of the future. That's right. Both Sang and I have school-aged children, so we understand the immense importance of education in their lives, especially after witnessing the disruptions to learning this past year. We hope you enjoy the opportunity tonight to learn about the incredible ways Think Together has stepped up for California's most vulnerable students during the past 13 months of the COVID crisis. We also want to encourage you to consider supporting this important, life-changing work through a financial gift tonight. Tommy and Joanna are going to be announcing your gifts as they come in throughout the evening. The money we raise tonight helps to keep Think Together's programs best in class for the students who need it the most. Let's work towards our fundraising goal together as we celebrate all that our students have and will continue to overcome. When we're in person at this annual event, we actually raise paddles in the air to make our gifts. Let's be a little crazy together right now, where you're at, raise your hand high in the air. We're saying yes to a great education for our students. Not crazy at all, Sing. Thank you so much for having us. Speaking of announcing gifts as they come in, we received several while you guys were talking. Thank you, Trish O'Donnell and Michael and Jenny Rue for getting the ball rolling with some significant gifts. Also, City National Bank up in Beverly Hills, thank you for supporting Raise a Hand as a return donor. By the way, the number you're seeing on the screen includes sponsorships and donations made leading up to tonight's broadcast. We are excited to see that number climb throughout the evening. We're gathering in a lot of different ways and places tonight. Here are some photos and from watch parties happening across the state. <laughs> Looks like folks are having a lot of fun. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Wait, I didn't get an invite. I want to be at some of these. Well, wherever you're watching from tonight, you are in good company. Oh wait, I misspoke when I said across the state. We've got guests in Texas and Georgia, and I was just told that we have a group of supporters watching tonight from Mexico. Mexico. Wow, thanks for taking this virtual event international. We hope to see lots more pictures and posts from your social media platforms. Please share them using the handles and hashtags you see on the screen. One of the other exciting ways we have for you to support students tonight is through two enticing live auction packages. If you've been on the event website this week, you may have bid on one of our silent auction packages. These two live auction opportunities are only available during this broadcast, which means we have how long, Tommy? <laughs> 36 minutes. <laughs> okay, well, then we better get to telling them these packages. You're up. All right. Our first one is going to make all of us who are itching to travel again sit up and shout. It's a five-day, four-night stay at La Villa Bella in Punta Mita on the west coast of Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> now that's a tongue twister. Enjoy indoor-outdoor living spaces in your private, luxurious, four-sweet house overlooking the Pacific. The villa sits on the Jack Nicklaus signature golf course of Pacifico with access to tennis, a spa, and the private beach club. Travel can be booked May to November. November through 2022. This auction opportunity is valued at $15,000 and we're opening bids at $6,000. Thank you so much to the D. John Miller Family Charitable Foundation, our sponsor for this exciting package. <laughs> okay, well, that's hard to follow, but not to be outdone, our second item is going to have you planning your perfect social gathering right here at home. It's an eight bottle premium wine package from some of California's most revered vineyards, including Ridge Montebello, Kistler, Costa Brown, and Occidental. Some of these are exclusive bottles only available to winery members. So you are in the insider track if you win this. Valued at 5,000 with an opening bid of just $2,000, these bottles will have your friends begging for your next invitation to dinner. Thank you, Bill and Patty Tamlin, for this very generous auction donation. Legit. I love Kistler. So whoever gets this, please feel free to invite me over. Well, wait, I need a vacation, and Mexico sounds great. Does it come with free babysitting? I'll babysit. Okay, good. Both of these packages, as well as our other silent auction opportunities, are live for the next 35 minutes. That's right. You have until 7.45 p.m. tonight to try to win one or more of these fantastic packages. They better hurry. We're going to be on the edge of our seats. Let's see if we can get a bidding war going. 
We're going to take a short break to thank our sponsors and give you a chance to place your opening bids. Then we'll be back to continue our program. keeping me fit and active thank you so much uh, today i just want to say thank you to all team together staffs for helping my daughter before the pandemic and during the pandemic thank you for creating all the activity to keep my daughter active and from the bottom of our heart we just want to say thank you for all you do thank you welcome back let's settle into the heart of tonight's program what's happening with students as a general manager, I get to see our students engaged in program all the time, and I have tons of stories. Oh, I bet. One that really stands out is a fifth grader, and she attends every virtual activity that we offer for her school, even the ones that are not for her group. It's because she wants to spend as much time with her friends and site leaders as possible. Wow. Can we say social-emotional wellness? Absolutely. That's huge. You know, whether you have kids at home like I do, hi Liam and Mia, or grandkids you've been concerned about, or even if you don't, we all have a sense of the gravity of what kids are experiencing in this environment. We've seen a lot of troubling stats on how far behind they're falling in their learning and how it will impact their future opportunities. This video you're about to see is our leaders and school partners explaining what we've been able to do together to meet the unique moment of this year. What I'd like you all to remember as you watch this is, Think Together did not go away. We did not get sidelined by the pandemic. Our programs and our partnerships persisted through innovation, and education did not stop. Take a look. When COVID shut down schools on March 13th, we had to react. We had to pivot our organization and we had to pivot to meet the needs of our schools and our, our students and our, our communities. So we, we dove in, uh, we made ourselves available. We, start, we opened a food pantry at Shalimar. We started partnering with our uh, schools to distribute uh, hot spots and food and books and backpacks full of <laughs> gear. Uh, and we, we did whatever it took uh, to meet the moment uh, for our school partners. When you have disruptive moments like this, and you have to, by nature of the, the times, change what you're doing, you can either change in ways that are temporary and then put you back where you were, or you can catapult change in ways that will lead you toward a much more equitable, much more effective educational system for all. And that's what we have done. 
Parents largely are some of our essential workers out in their communities. They're the grocery store workers, they're the teachers, they're a, a tons of other frontline staff. And so our students are really struggling at home with very little support when it comes to not having things together um, available to them. So that's part of what some of our families are struggling with. Think Together has really supported by uh, operating in any way that our district partners really need us and so they've really been able to, to meet that moment and support those students with uh, everything and anything that they need right now. I can't say enough about the positive impact that Think Together has made uh, on our kids and their families. It's been a lifeline. Uh, we have a lot of family members who were already dealing with a significant amount of challenges this year and when Think Together came on board um, they were able to provide the closest semblance of a normal school setting that could have been provided under the quarantine uh, requirements and safety protocol established by the county and state health um, departments. The thing together, uh, more than anything, has just provided a great support for our families. If it wasn't for Think Together, um, a lot of our families that currently have students enrolled in the program I don't know what they would do. Uh, we heard from parents that they didn't necessarily have a space at home for their students, or they had too many students in the home. Um, some parents had to return to work. We had some first responder parents, and they really struggled with, you know, how is that going to affect my my student? Are they going to they're going to be home alone the whole time? And they weren't really comfortable with that scenario. Think Together has been a great partner as we tried to traverse these waters of distance learning and the and the pandemic as it affected school systems. We also are very cognizant of the fact that there is learning loss, and we have many students that will require additional supports. So. For for instance, we have a 24-hour tutoring program where students can go online and get assistance um, with one of our partners, Think Together, which is on the campuses of several of our elementary schools. And through Orinda, we continue to have what's called our equity partnership, where we talk about our data and we ensure that we are targeting the right students for the right help. When our district partners call us, they're always just grateful for, for the work that we do for the type of workforce we have. Um, they, they're always able to call out and see the passion and how their students talk about our program leaders and our site coordinators and the activities um, that they do, how the families speak to um, students really being successful because they have a place to finish that schoolwork that you know parents and families can't support at home. Think Together's mission is to partner with schools to change the odds for kids. During this COVID time, the odds got longer for our kids. The, the, the achievement gaps got worse, the social gaps got worse, and so we partnered with our schools to provide that support system to narrow those gaps during this COVID period. I can attest to the fact that Everything that we do with Think Together in terms of planning, program, physical activities, social and emotional, nutrition services, homework supports, every hub of activities that are offered in after school programs comes back to that, changing the odds for kids. There's a commitment level that is extraordinary, um, meeting our challenges and then celebrating our successes. Tommy, I found myself really watching the students' eyes in that video. I saw focus. Mm -hmm. I saw them excited to be with their classmates and leaders. I saw them engaged with what they were doing. That says it all to me right there. I couldn't have said it better. One thing we didn't have a chance to mention in that segment is that we actually had the opportunity to expand our reach to serve students in the Coachella Valley. In fall 2020, we launched expanded learning programs at 21 schools in the Palm Springs Unified School District and are now working with over 7,300 students there. For those of you watching out in the Palm Springs area tonight, we are so thrilled to be in your neck of the woods. Well, <laughs> palm trees of the woods, I guess. <laughs> Thank you for welcoming us into your community as new partners. Palm tree woods? You know. But I'm <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's check in on our giving. We've had some more gifts come in. Thank you to our friends, Renee and Vito Canuso. Hey, Renee. <laughs> Alan and Nancy Bernstein, John and Linda Benner. Thank you so much. I actually just heard that we have a sponsor that's logged in all the way from India. Wow, what's the time zone in 
India. I don't know. I just know what the prompter says. <laughs> <laughs> well, we hope you are likewise inspired to support students with a donation to Think Together. Remember, you can make your gift at any time by going to thinktogether.org forward slash raise a hand. One of my favorite moments during Raise a Hand is getting to award students our Face of the Future Scholarship. I'd like to welcome Gloria Alday to the broadcast. Gloria directs our high school programs and she's going to tell us about this award. Thanks, Tommy. I'm so happy to be back with you all for Raise a Hand. I had a chance to share my story from stage a few years ago. I grew up in a Mexican-American family here in Santa Ana, the youngest of seven kids. Despite their value in education, my parents' own limited education meant that they didn't know how to support their children going to college. In high school, I had a few key people who laid out the pathway for me, and I was accepted to Yale University, graduating with a BA in American Studies four years later. My own experience has given me very specific insight into the experience of the vast majority of our Think Together high school students. There are a lot of barriers between them and college. With your support, we are working hard to help students remove those barriers, helping students to access the tools and the confidence they have and need to believe in college and vocational training as possibilities for their future. Which is why it's so fun to celebrate our Face of the Future scholarship recipient each year. They have worked hard to excel academically and marshal the resources available to them to make college a reality. This year's Face of the Future sponsor is Pacific Life. They've been a longtime partner of Think Together in the work of college and career readiness. To present the award, we are welcoming Don Bankey, Executive Vice President of Pacific Life's Life Insurance Division and a member of Think Together's Board of Directors. The segment you're about to see was filmed earlier this afternoon when Don was able to catch up with the student at the end of their school day. Hi, I'm Dawn, and I am proud to be representing Pacific Life as we award the Face of the Future Scholarship to Jacobo Cortez. Jacobo is a senior at Vaughn Next Century Learning Center in San Fernando and has been attending Think Together's program throughout high school. Jacobo, welcome, and congratulations on this award. Thank you so much for having me. I really, really appreciate it. Could you tell us just a little bit of your story, specifically your educational journey and how Think Together has been a part of it? Yes, of course. Um, I attend Vaughn Next Century Learning Center. Um, I went in really scared. Um, I didn't really know anyone going in. Um, their Vaughn Middle School accepted all their eighth graders going into high school, and I was one of the only little freshmen who didn't have any friends. And so I was really, really scared to feel really alone. Um, but as the first day finished and I went to think together, I decided to join their cooking club. And I still remember making, growing a really strong relationship and friendship with my staff, the staff member, Miss Amber and other seniors who were in that class. Um, I got to break the break level barrier that really holds people back. And ever since then, Every single year, I would help. I would join their clubs, and I remember going into their homework help, um, being able to balance out the educational aspect and the social aspect of being able to hang out with some of my fellow classmates and friends, and being able to grow together as strong students and strong people learning new things like cooking, um, media club that helped me with my creative side with photography and editing and all that type of stuff. And I really, really appreciate that Think Together gave me the opportunity, especially, especially coming from a really low income community. I know a lot of people in my school, such as myself, were first generation Americans. And um, we kind of weren't really exposed to a strong educational household. Um, my parents didn't really have a f higher level education since they came to this country at a really young age. And um, Think Together always made me feel really, really strong as an American as a student and as a person. And I know that as I go on with my life, I will hold their, their teachings and be able to grow even more for all the years that I have coming. 
Thanks so much for sharing all of that. You have really inspired me. Could you tell us a little about your college and career plans after you graduate this spring? Um, yes, of course. Um, I plan on going into political science. I want to go into the law field, uh, specifically immigration law. I feel really passionate about helping out people who don't have the same safety. And um, I really, really want to help out the people in my community that I have seen firsthand. I have drawn down my top three colleges to UC San Diego, um, Fordham University, and the American University of Paris. I really, really love those three universities, and I feel like it's a perfect fit for me, all three of them. I really want to dive into the... I really want to be able to explore and further my education because, as I mentioned before, my parents weren't fortunate enough to further their education. So I know that as I do, I am doing it for them. I'm doing it for myself and I'm doing it for the people in my community who haven't gotten the same opportunities as I have. Um, some of those opportunities can be, I actually got the opportunity to travel to China um, my sophomore year and I was exposed to a whole different culture um, and traditions. And I feel like because of that, I really want to further my life and my education life into a place that really um, goes forward with diversity because I really, really um, feel strongly about having diversity in my life. On behalf of Think Together and Pacific Life, I'm honored to present you with this scholarship check and a laptop to equip you for the next steps of your journey. You and your family should be very proud of your accomplishments and we wish you the very best. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Congrats, Jacobo. We are cheering you on. And thank you again, Pacific Life, for your long partnership and generosity to our students. We also had two other scholarship recipients, Maria Arellano and Habib Jeffer. Don had a chance to connect with them, and their stories are now up on the Stories page of the Raise a Hand website. Joanna and Tommy, back to you. Thanks, Gloria. Speaking of other stories, our Raise a Hand website has testimonials from Think Together board members and our corporate and foundation partners. If you haven't already watched these, we hope you'll peruse our website after the broadcast. Tonight, we wanna to celebrate one of those partners who has really stepped up in this pandemic and made distance learning programs available to students on a large scale. To present our Champion of Change Award, please welcome the chair of Think Together's board of directors, John Lee. Thanks guys, great to be with you all tonight. The Broadcom Corporation has been a partner of ours for many years, supplying much needed technology to support expanded learning programs. And they stepped in at the very beginning of the pandemic to answer the call when our students face disconnection. Let's take a look. Broadcom is a champion of change because they're helping to close the digital divide. One of the biggest gaps between the haves and have nots in education and in our, our whole economy are the access to computers and broadband, and we're in a digital world now. And Broadcom has given us the tools to help close that gap. I'm so excited today to be here at Roosevelt Elementary to actually see these laptops that the engineers at Broadcom have worked so hard to get ready for Think Together to deliver these laptops into classrooms that are really helping students who don't have a laptop at home or aren't able to access uh, technical equipment and we're able to give that opportunity to them and bring after school programs like coding to students to help them learn some of these technology basics that they'll need for their whole lives. Broadcom today gave about 30 laptops to kids at Roosevelt Elementary. It was really exciting to see uh, the kids' faces and just their surprise and, and gratitude towards Broadcom uh, for this generous donation of technology. It really is gonna make a tremendous difference uh, both in their schooling here and also studying at home and preparing academically. There's always people in need and it's just good to give back to the community. And that's what I try to explain to the team. And what we're doing, we know it's a lot of extra work on our part, but at the end, the work is well worth it because it's going to a good cause. And you know, we may not see the end results today, 
it may be in a decade that we're gonna see the end result and we're gonna hear some kid talking, say, you know what, the reason I got into this or the way, the reason I you know, developed this was because of the after school programs through Brockholm Foundation and Think Together. So just from that point, you know, I hope someday I could you know, see that interview and go, wow, I, I was a part of that. I'd like to tell Brockham, thank you. <laughs> I mean, uh, think about that. You know, you saw the 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 smiles and the uh, stretching of the eyes because we couldn't really see the smiles, but you saw how excited those kids were to get you know their own computer. They came to the right place for the with the right students. Um, you know, we we do house a lot of foster youth, a lot of homeless youth and um, that's something that they wouldn't be able to do on their own. We've been partnering with Broadcom for about 10 years now and they have been a fantastic uh, supporter of our uh, programs, primarily in providing technology infrastructure. And over the last three years, they've given close to 2,000 laptops uh, supporting our Coding for All programs and, and now our distance learning programs during the pandemic. This Broadcom has really helped us be responsive to the needs of the kids we serve. Uh, when the kids need laptops, we're able to provide them. When the kids want to grow in their STEM skills, we're able to deliver coding and robotics programs. It really is all made possible with their support. I'd like to say thank you to Broadcom for stepping up and being a pioneer to support the students that we serve. And they exude what a successful company should do in terms of supporting the needs of our, our students and, and families, especially during this moment. And I, I love the fact that now our students, when they hear Broadcom, or when our students and families see the Broadcom logo, they're going to think of Broadcom in a, in a positive light. They'll, they'll smile or they'll be happy about it. So we hope our, our program with Think Together will inspire the next generation of STEM innovators and engineers and scientists that will solve tomorrow's problems. It's great to see Broadcom's directors able to connect directly with our students. Mass on, of course. To accept the Champion of Change Award, please help me welcome Paula Golden, the president of Broadcom Foundation, joining us live from San Francisco. Hey, John, it is so great to be here. It was so exciting to see the footage of my colleagues working with the children in Compton. Think Together is amazing, and I am so delighted to be here. The powerlessness we've all felt during the COVID times has really caused us to want to find ways to connect, and this was really amazing. Absolutely. As Randy said in that segment, this partnership addresses the extreme need for technology during the pandemic in order to keep these kids moving forward in their educational journey. For most of us watching, we can't imagine not having easy access to technology. I'm reminded how much of a disadvantage is for our kids who don't have a laptop. One of the exciting things that Broadcom uh, has been involved in is finding a way to take its decommissioned laptops and bring them to kids in their homes and schools through the Think Together partnership. This partnership has been going on for almost 10 years. We began our foundation in 2010 and we started working with Think Together, trying to figure out ways to bring technology into the after school space and ultimately into the homes during COVID with laptop uh, contributions. It's, it is a partnership that we are so proud of and we are proud of every child that gets to make use of these laptops. We know what we're bringing to them and we know they're going to give back with the education that they get as a result of this partnership. When we think past the immediate needs of this year and think about how we prepare kids for the future, we have to consider the impact of that digital divide. We know that STEM fields are going to need skilled leaders and employees, and we want to make sure that do door is open to all of our kids. Access and inclusion are really the hallmarks of our Broadcom partnership with Think Together. We all believe that every child should be getting the kind of education in STEM that they need to be in the workforce of today and tomorrow. And for us, this partnership for over 10 years has allowed us to make a real difference in young people's lives, some of whom are now in college in Orange County or in other, other communities where you have a tremendous footprint and they're in fabulous jobs as a result of being inspired 
through the kinds of programs that we've partnered on. Technology is at the, at the centerpiece of success in this day and age. And we are so pleased to be the partner that can bring that STEM application to you. In light of all that, we are honored to present Broadcom with this year's Champion of Change Award for meeting the moment through transformational support of student programs in the areas of technology and innovation. Congratulations. We are so honored to receive this award. We consider it an award to every child that you touch and we help you touch. It is a great privilege to work with you and thank you so much on behalf of everyone at Broadcom. We are delighted to continue this partnership for many years to come. We've had a wave of donations come in over the past 10 minutes. So thank you to all of you. Thank you to Jennifer and James Lee, Barbara Nieto and John Bishop, and Harry Aldridge. Hmm. Joanna, I have another person I want to recognize. I didn't grow up in California, but I've been a proud Angelino for many years now. So for those of you who follow baseball, go blue. Yeah. The Los Angeles <laughs> Dodgers Foundation has been a longtime partner of Think Together, and one of their own is partnering with us to raise his hand for kids this month. Here's one of the newest pictures of the Los Angeles Dodgers, Trevor Bauer. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm here today with a 501c3 that I'm very passionate about. It is called Think Together, and I'm here with Randy, who is going to be telling us a little bit about it. It's part of my Case for a Cause initiative that I'm doing this year in which I'm donating $1,000 per strikeout to a certain charity doing uh, great work in the LA community, picking a new charity every single month, and this month it is Think Together. Uh, we're Any of you want to guess how many strikeouts so far in April? <laughs> I have no idea. If you've guessed 36, you're right on the money. Nice. So far, $36,000 going to STEM education for Think Together students. You can watch the rest of that interview on Bauer's YouTube page, Bauer Outage, and purchase K's for a Cause merchandise on his website with proceeds benefiting Think Together. Thank you so much, Trevor. And let's be sure to cheer him on when he pitches against the Padres tomorrow at Dodger Stadium. Woo! Program leaders, because they are very nice and helpful. Things together has helped me with uh, bringing my grades up. They got my grades up before. I had a uh, 1.8. Now I'm at a 4. Point, I'm a 4.0 student. Thank you. Well, we have one more very special guest to honor tonight. This woman you're about to meet has such an inspiring story. She is a Holocaust survivor. She came to New York and then California not speaking the language. Thanks to the support of her teachers, she went on to build a successful business and is giving back in extraordinary ways. To present the Think Legacy Award, please welcome one of our original volunteers and longtime supporter, Sam Anderson. Thank you and hello everyone. It's my great honor to join Raise a Hand 2021 and celebrate my dear friend and Think Together champion, Leona Aronoff Sadaka. Let's uh, together watch the tribute video. The time that I've been uh, with Think Together has been uh, a very proud moment. I, I look at Think Together as this family that puts their arm around the kids and say, we are gonna help you to succeed. And that's what Think Together and Orenda is all about. I think what Leona brought to the board was the thing that all organizations need, but particularly nonprofits, is they need to be centered around um, caring and concern for your constituency, for the community, for other board members. And I really felt in a lot of ways she was the emotional center of our board and the organization. No matter how difficult the challenges are, and they are, when Leona's in the room, you're always left with a feeling of hope, positivity, and excitement about the future. 
Leona was introduced to Think Together by Sam Anderson, who's one of Think Together's greatest champions. And uh, Sam talked to Leona about, uh, about Shalimar and our, our, our Think Together story. But what really, I think, caught Leona's ear was our work we had, by that time, we had expanded into Inland Empire. And Leona uh, raised her family in Rialto uh, and ran her business out of San Bernardino. And that's really where she was deeply rooted. Kids uh, really had great needs in there, in that area. And Leona recognized that and uh, immediately saw Think Together as a vehicle to invest in the children in those communities, which was really her passion. She is, first of all, a philanthropist. She is a uh, businesswoman. She is a mother, a grandmother, a person who's very loyal to uh, her uh, faith. What's important that I find is children. They're the ones that are gonna inherit what we leave them. And they're the ones that need the training to say that, yes, you can do the job, yes, you can be a whole person, but it's all in, also incumbent on you to help others. She set high watermarks for her philanthropy and uh, has been very generous, which I think has inspired other, other board members. Leona is the first Think Together uh, board member and one of the first Think Together insiders to make an estate gift to Think Together. And so Leona is ensuring that um, we're, the generosity from her estate will continue to uh, give to Think Together long into the future. I think God expects you to do your part while you're here. We have uh, something that's called uh, Takuna Lam, which means you have to repair the world. And it's uh, a combat, uh, all of us, all of us have to do that. And as part of my faith, uh, I now had the time and the energy. I felt that now I could really make a difference. Thank you for the tremendous impact you've had on tens of thousands of kids. I'm just so grateful um, that uh, we've gotten to know each other and uh, have been able to do some great work together. And uh, I'm forever changed because of our uh, friendship and relationship. So I learned a lot. I think I learned as much from Think Together as they've learned from me. And, and that's what makes a, a good partnership. Welcome, Leona, to the broadcast. What an amazing story you have. I just learned in the last couple of weeks uh, some new things about you. If you would indulge us and say why education, think together in particular, captured your interest as you turned your focus toward Orange County. Thank you, Sam, for giving me this opportunity to uh, really express why I am part of Think Together and have been for the last few years. And it really had to do with you introducing uh, Think Together with me over lunch. Uh, you have tried to get me in many organizations, but this one stuck. And I always know that uh, when you invite me to lunch, uh, that you have something in mind. However, this time it was a wonderful thing together and the opportunity for me to really engage in uh, what's close to my heart. Well, Leona, for all the reasons we just heard and so many more, it is my great honor to present you with the 2021 Think Legacy Award. The inscription reads, Think Legacy Award 2021, Leona Aronoff Sadaka, for foundational commitment and visionary leadership in changing the odds for kids in California. Sam, I am absolutely thrilled that they picked you to give me this award. 
uh, and it is uh, just perfect. I couldn't ask for a better award than this one. Uh, it is very meaningful to me, especially because it says legacy. And to me, legacy means the future. And you know from being around me as long as you have that I believe that we all are standing on the shoulders of others, which means that there were people before us, there are people now, and there will be people in the future. And it's up to us that are here now to make sure that we do leave a legacy, be it through your will or trust. It's important to have that continuation for the future. So Sam, I, I really appreciate this very, very much. Thanks, Leona, and back to you guys. We love Leona. She is such an incredible woman. Absolutely. We've had several board members and donors inspired by Leona's service. I just saw that Jeff and Debbie Margulies made a donation in her honor. Thank you both Thank so you. much. Thank you. I got a message from Randy that he wants a chance to congratulate our honorees. Let's go back out to Palm Springs. <laughs> Thanks, Tommy. As we sign off this evening, I've asked my wife, Mary, who's my partner in this work uh, for more than 25 years to join mm -hmm. me. Yeah, and it's been a great 25 years. Great partnership. Uh, I, tonight, have been so inspired listening to the stories, uh, Randy. I think you probably have, too. And it, we're around it all the time, So, uh, but it never ceases to uh, grab me emotionally and I hope it did you too, because uh, now more than ever, our students need us all to raise a hand. They sure do. And we want to thank our friends, uh, Paula Golden and the Broadcom Foundation. And once again, Leona, mm -hmm. you've been such a rock and great champion and partner with me through the years. And a virtual high five to our Face of the Future students, Maria, Habib, Jacobo. We're so proud of you for finishing out your senior year strong in the midst of these strange circumstances. That resilience is going to serve you well through your college years and beyond. It certainly will. And I want to add our own personal note of thanks to you all for watching and joining us tonight. Obviously, it would have been wonderful to see you all in person, but how great is it that we are living in an era or an age when we can reach across California and beyond and unite virtually toward our shared mission. So thank you all again, wishing you a wonderful evening. Bye everyone, and we'll see you next year. All right, I have, I'm over here, but it's okay, it's live. We're, <laughs> we're gonna make it work. <laughs> well, I've got some really great news. We've gotten so many requests to extend our silent auction since so many of you are focused on the broadcast, which is great news. Absolutely. So we are going to extend it to 8.30. So there you go. That is great news, yes. Joanna. And thanks again, Randy and Mary. I'm going to throw our final segment to some of our volunteers. These young professionals have been serving and leading together at our Shalimar Learning Center program in Orange County. Guys, bring it home. Hello, everyone. My name is Kari Espy. I'm Yvonne Lugo. I'm Paula Leon. I'm Aaron Bragg and we are on the Friends of Shalimar Committee. We're having a great time tonight at Raise a Hand, and we hope you are too. We've had an opportunity to work with Think Together students over the past few years, and we know firsthand what a difference these programs make in their lives. And these programs wouldn't be possible without your amazing generosity, so thank you very much. Please enjoy one last student story tonight, and have a good night. Cheers. 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 The students coming back to in-person program, they felt excited to come back to school, finally get to see some of their classmates, um, and they were just happy for a different environment. Coming back in person, I would say is definitely adjusting for the students because they're used to being so closely connected, and now you know they have to be six feet apart, have their mask on, and just finding new ways where they could still build relationships with the students and still maintaining that distance even with ourselves. When the little ones, my first and second graders came into program, 
a lot of them were way behind on their assignments. Uh, we had our little ones who came in with 170 assignments behind and just getting to see that they, they, they catch up. We have a sixth grader and she came up to me one day and she told me like, Mr. Daniel, I just want to thank you because uh, ever since I'm in Think Together, my teachers have been sending letters home to my parents telling them how, how good I'm doing now in school. I just feel like I, I know what I'm doing now. I don't feel stressed and overwhelmed. I have a safe place to come every day to do my schooling. We don't know if students are receiving meals at home and we're providing them with a breakfast snack, a supper and a lunch. They take that home with them after school. So just knowing that we're able to provide those little things for them when they go home, it feels good. It just makes us feel good knowing that we're, we're there, we're providing them with these resources that we don't know if they have them at home or not. This community need consistency. Um, a lot of the students don't have someone um, asking every day, not someone consist consistently every single day um, caring about them, wondering if they're doing their homework, making sure that they're eating their supper, getting snack, um, playing outside. I have students here that are homeless and it's hard. Um, so I just wanted to support them any way I can because I know when I'm here, they feel safe. Students are, are used to being social. They're used to poking at their neighbor. They're used to giving their friend a high five or a hug or shooting a game of basketball outside. And now with this whole protocol of social distancing, it's different. You don't have that closeness with your friends. You have a, a computer screen and yourself. And it's hard to be emotionally attached to somebody off of a computer when you don't have that realization of realness of being connected with somebody in person and talking with them. It's just a different way of communicating. Just hearing uh, feedback from students in regards of how happy and content they are being here, it just brings a sense of accomplishment in the work that we've done. And it's just so satisfying know knowing that we are making a difference in what we're doing. They tell me thank you a lot. This is my school. I came here. That's my backstory. This is my home. And anything I can to support the kids, it comes from my heart. And I give it 110% and then some. And my kids know that. Tommy, did you see that number? We are ending our broadcast with $508,836 towards our $500,000 fundraising goal. We crushed it. All right. Our donation page will remain open for those of you still considering a gift. Thank you to everyone who who's given for your incredible generosity. I share Joanna's appreciation and excitement. Wherever you are, please raise a glass and join us in a closing toast. To our students, we are here for you. You each deserve an education that empowers you to be a lifelong learner, to reach beyond barriers, and to build a future alongside those in your generation. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you for joining us for this very special celebration of our students, our partners, and our mission to change the odds for kids. From all of us that think together, good night, everyone. Good night. Bye, Mom and Dad.